I'm turning three of the most popular candies in the world healthy. That way I can eat them without hating myself after. But they still have to taste good. So to make sure that, I'm getting a judge to taste test them at the end of this video to pick which one is better. Let's go. Now to start off, we got M&M's. Now, I'm pretty sure we can all guess why M&M's are unhealthy. High amounts of sugar slash fat in the chocolate. But seeing as M&M's are 90% chocolate, how the f are we gonna make this healthy? Well... Let me show you. First, we start by boiling some water in a pot. Then we put another pot on top of that pot, making sure that the second pot is not touching the water in the first pot. And then we measure up 51 grams of cocoa butter and 51 grams of cocoa powder. And then pop the butter into the second pot. That way it can melt. I just realized the mistake. I was not supposed to put the cocoa powder in at the same time as the butter. Hopefully that's fine. Alrighty, there we go. The butter has been melted. Now for my subscribers, y'all might know what's going on. Don't worry though. I do have another thing to spice it up later. But for anyone that's new to my channel, let me explain. What we're doing here is pretty much making dark chocolate by hand. Specifically, 70% dark chocolate, which is actually healthy. See, 70% dark chocolate actually lowers the risk of heart disease, reduces inflammation, and improves brain functions. I'm not sure what all that means, but it's healthy. Now, next up, we gotta make the food dye to make the M&Ms pop. Now, the original M&Ms actually use a lot of unhealthy and bad chemicals to dye their candy those crazy colors. But since we wanna be healthy and not die at the age of 30, we'll be using 100% natural food dye that we make ourselves. And just to stay on the theme of healthy, I decided we're gonna color them green because salads and cucumbers are green so green equals healthy so let us cup some spinach pop that spinach ugh, into a pan every last bit of it no survivors together with some water we just gotta turn that bad boy on there we go cook it on medium heat and stir it until the spinach is wilted which i actually had to look up on google to figure out what that meant because i had sure idea is that embarrassing chat Oh, is it just me or is the water actually getting greener? Oh, it's actually working. Holy guacamole. I don't know why I wasn't expecting it to work, but you know. All right, I think it's there now. So let me just turn the heat off and then we just plop it over in this bowl. Now, normally you're supposed to use a food processor, but them bad boys are too expensive for me. So please like and subscribe, please. But yeah, since we don't have a food processor, I will instead be using a scissor. So uh, I guess we just gotta absolutely demolish this spinach. There we go. And then we take a spoon and just smush it. So, you know, really squeeze those green liquids out. I don't know why I said it like that. I humbly apologize. All right, that should be good, right? So let's just take our glass, a sieve, which is a little bit too big. Let me just pour slowly but surely into the glass. Hopefully I'm not spilling right now. I cannot see. Oh my God, that looks like not healthy green. What the frick? But let's see if it looks good with the chocolate. Let's just take the green liquid and pour it in as we stir. Or just all in at one time. That might actually have been really stupid. Anyways. That just did nothing. You know what I just realized? The chocolate in M&M's is not the colored part. It's the shell, outer shell, you know, around the chocolate. Uh, I might have made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment, but I do think I have a way to fix this. So we just got to melt some butter in a pan and then just pour it out into it to give it that green coloring. And oh my God, it is actually working this time. Holy guacamole. We might need some more butter though. I cannot lie. Ooh, and the butter is actually giving it kind of a lighter green. That's good. All right, I guess now it is time for assembly. Now, I can't really do the classic M&M shape, seeing as I don't have any M&M shaped molds, but I do have this Halloween one. So, hopefully that's good enough. Let's just start by adding a little bit of our green liquids in here. I am spilling everywhere. Okay, never mind. And then we pour in some of the chocolate, just a tiny bit, not all of it, not to the top. Repeat that. There we go. Oh, that one was definitely to the top. Why am I such a failure? Then we take the peanuts, plop one into there, one into there, one into there, and one into there. And then we have one left that I will just gobble. And now we just pour the rest of the chocolate in. Okay, I am spilling everywhere. I really should take some cooking classes, huh? Pop it all into another one. So that, we can add more of the green stuff. Yippee! There we go, and let's just remove the excess again. And now we just gotta put those into the freezer. There we go. Boom. Now hopefully, even though we had all these failures, hopefully our M&Ms actually taste good when the judge has to try them at the end of this video. Cause I gotta win two out of the three candies that I've chosen to be able to win. But we'll worry about that for later. Cause next up is our gummies. Now, the reason why these bad boys are unhealthy is cause of the insane amount of sugar that's packed into every single one of these bad boys. But I'm thinking if we just cup raspberries, grapes, gelatin, lemons, and some honey, and then we just smash them, crush them, take their soul or something like that. Because that way, we get the fresh natural sugars from the berries. You know, normally you're supposed to blend this, but once again, I don't have a blender. Please subscribe so I can afford a blender. But I think we're doing a pretty good job though. This is looking like, like liquid stuff. It looks like goo at least. And then we just do that to the grapes too. So let's just wash them, pour them over into the bowl. And then we just once again, smash them. <sighs> you know what? I'm just gonna try and squish them with my bare hands. 
This is low-key nasty in my hands. I don't like the feeling. But it is very efficient though. It is working. And now we just move over here where we then squeeze out 44 grams of lemon juices. And then put one of these bad boys in here. Which is the stuff that's gonna turn our berry goo into actual gummies. Now in the recipe they use powdered gelatin. I could not find that anywhere because I live in little old Denmark. So this is the best I could find. Hopefully this works. I don't know. And then we just set that to the side. Now I'm thinking we're gonna start with the raspberry first. Let's just get a pot. Then pour the raspberry goo in there. And then let's put honey into that. And then we just gotta heat that up slowly. 48 degrees Celsius. All right, that should be good. So let's just pour in the gelatin. Get out. And then we just gotta stir until it's all dissolved. Which is kind of hard to know because the gelatin is kind of transparent. There we go. And we just quickly take it off the heat. Then we grab our chocolate molds, actually. Because fun fact, I don't have any more molds. So um, improvise, adapt, and overcome. And then we just spoon the goo into the mold. Oh. I'm starting to think I might be a failure. And now we just gotta repeat that with the grapes. So let's just squeeze some lemon. Mix in the gelatin. Pour the grape goo into the pot. I'm gonna keep the grape bits in there because I think that might add a fun little element to, you know, this. Then add in the honey, pour the gelatin mixture into there, and then once again, stir. And then just spoon that over into the mold again. And now, instead of putting them in the fridge or whatever, we gotta leave them out in room temperature. Then the flavors, you know, really set and they get like that gummy texture. Only problem though, the chocolate would probably melt. So yeah, that might be a problem. But you know what? I'm gonna leave that up to Momo's Raz. Yeah, no, I ended up just putting it in the fridge since it didn't seem to want to gummy up. But now, it is time to make the last candy healthy. Cutador ice cream, AKA walls. I think that's what the company is called. Now, ice cream contains a lot of calories, added sugars, fat, and all of that fancy stuff. But after a lot of pondering, I think I found a way to make it actually healthy. We just need a mango, some sweetened condensed milk, heavy cream, and vanilla pots. And that's actually it. Now, the first step to making it healthier is to, instead of using the store-bought vanilla extract, you know, the liquid stuff, we use one of these bad boys. Vanilla pod. Whoop, whoop. So let's just open it up. Oh, I just failed miserably at that. Oh my God, it comes in this like little test tube. And what we pretty much need to do is just carve out its intestines. Okay, the insides. Oh, there we go. Oh my God, full on concentration right there. And then we just scrape it all out and put it into a bowl. And then we just mix that together with the sweetened condensed milk. Oh yeah, that looks good. And it actually filled up perfectly. Oh yeah, it's beginning to look like some. Boom. And now to add another little healthy twist to it, we're gonna add mango to the mix. Because uh, fruits are healthy. So let's just start off by washing it. And then let's take it over to the cutting board. Where we then first cut it down the middle and then just twist it. Never mind, that didn't work. Oh, I was gonna peel it later, but I guess it just did it by itself. I guess we'll just rip the skin off like that. I guess that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Why is this so hard, dude? I need to do more freaking fruit stuff because I am clearly not a trained professional. All right, I think that's gonna be the best I can do. And now we gotta mince all this stuff because we kind of don't want the judge to, you know, choke on a piece of mango at the end of the video. Set so, uh, Yeah. Into the mix it goes. I'm gonna mix that around. There we go. Now next up, we gotta whip this cream into, you know, whipped cream. This part might take a little while because once again, I don't have the money for the equipment. So instead, we just gotta whisk the devil out of it. <laughs> now this part ended up taking so incredibly long because I'm incredibly weak. So whisking the heavy cream made my arm hurt so much. My arm is throbbing in pain and I am sweaty as freak. <laughs> and now we just throw in the mixture from earlier and then just slowly but surely stir that together. So now we just have two poured into to a resealable container. I actually think it's the same one as the other one. I don't know. Ooh, yeah. Now we just put the lid on and then we just freeze this for a minimum of six hours. So I guess I'll see you in six hours when it's time for the judge. Great. The candies. I am praying that we're gonna win. All right, it is the final hour. Are you ready? No, I'm scared. What should I start with? Uh, Start with the M&Ms. What's your review? I'm not the biggest fan of peanut m and but they're good. Let me try yours. I brought a fork. We took them out of the mold and um, they're unrecognizable. Ooh. Wait, look like that. Right, go for it. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. I take that as that was not very good. There is immediately spit out. Oh, it's so salty. Oh, right. You put spinach in this stuff. Oh, no. So that was a big no. <laughs> uh oh. All right, next up, the gummies. Well, since it's red, I'm going to grab the red ones. Okay. All right, not mine. I'm so scared. You didn't put stuff. enough gelatin in them. Yeah, no, I really didn't. That's nice. That's good. I love raspberry. It's more of a natural flavor. I like it more. One point to me, baby. All right, now it's the ice cream time. I love ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, and then I cream. <gasps> All right, get that spoon of ice cream. Oh, yeah. All right, into the mouth it goes. Good? Yeah. I love this type of ice cream. I don't even have to taste yours, though, so why not? What the freak? Now it's my turn. I put a little mango on top of it to make it look really fancy when you open it up. Let's see if this worked. Oh, okay, no, so now it didn't. What? <laughs> Go. Where did it go? It was right there. That's actually pretty decent. When it comes to taste test though, that's what matters. Can you even taste 
taste the mango. Mm -hmm. I do think the mango ruined it. Oh. Because it's just so strong that it's going over all the other flavors. So it's reminding me of another ice cream I've had and I really, really like it. Yeah. And because of the fruitiness, I definitely give this one away. Really? Dude, not even the famous branch can be safe for me. W. Subscribe, yeah, you really say subscribe, yeah. Uh, just like, yeah, you really say just like, yeah. Uh, please comment, yeah, that really will be fire. Uh, if you don't, then I will find you and I will force you to do it. Thank you.